if you follow her on Instagram, she's unbelievably inspiring in everything that she does and encouraging and woman power. And she has a wonderful story about how she has used cannabis and food for health to get her life back. So here she is, Amy. Hi, Amy. but I coach nationally. So that means I have clients in Colorado, I have clients in California, I have clients in Maine, I have them everywhere. So my coaching is not something that I just do with people that are local to me. I offer my services online, I talk with you once a week, I walk you through the regimen. Um, but I took Regina's classes as well and I thought, I need to use this. I was very sick. Um, about eight years ago, I had my daughter, and I was 235 pounds. My doctor looked at me and said, if you don't change what you're doing, your daughter's gonna grow up without a mother. And so I changed what I was doing. I wanted to be a mom more than anything, and I wanted to enjoy my life. I wanted freedom to, to be there for her, and so she could see me in a different way. The one thing holding me back was 10 different prescriptions I was on. I was surviving through prescriptions. If I missed a refill, it was like my whole life just stopped. Everything stopped, just like this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Everything doesn't go well, right? Um, and I was treating the symptoms from my prescriptions just to survive. And I finally was like, oh, what's the junk? <laughs> I don't want to treat the symptoms from my pills that I need to live. How can I reverse this? And it was cannabis, and it was nutrition. And I hated nutrition, okay? I loved cannabis. Uh, I was using it for my postpartum depression, I was using it for anxiety, my marriage was falling apart as my health was at the same time. I ended up getting divorced as a single parent, I was homeless and I had no car. And I was trying to focus on my wellness. What was I thinking? <laughs> I rely heavily on cannabis to get me through that. And I stayed the course and I worked with my doctor one on one and I said, This is my goal. I want to be healthy. I never want to see your freaking face again. I don't want to see you. I don't want to ever be here ever again. And uh, it'll be, it's been 18 months since he walked in the door and he said, You're healthy. Peace. Woo! That was the hardest one for me to kick because I have ADHD and I didn't want to give that up just yet. I was like, I love focusing. Uh, and then I realized I needed to change my regimen. I needed to increase my regimen. I needed to do things a little bit differently to manage my ADHD uh, and all my other prescriptions I've been off of. So since then, I've lost 125 pounds. And I've been able to maintain that weight loss for over a year using proper nutrition and cannabis, and I help others. So I totaled the tally for my clients of last year, and we lost over 1,500 pounds this past year. So I love what I do. Um, whether you want just cannabis regimen, whether you want a nutrition regimen, whatever you're looking for, whatever your goals are, I help you accomplish those goals. Um, I don't push anything on you. I don't tell you what you should and shouldn't eat. I'm not the food police. I hate the food police. Uh, but I'll give you my recommendations and walk you through it every step of the way. Um, I have clients that call me when they want to have like a chips and queso breakdown. And I'm like, all right, don't worry. This is what we're going to do instead. We're going to have this, this, and this. And we work it out together. So um, I teach classes. I also. Um, educate dispensaries, uh, bud tenders, I do retreats. I just did a couples and cannabis retreat out in Mounds, Oklahoma this past weekend where there's a workshop, you get educated, you do a DIY, everybody went home with a personal massage oil lubricant uh, infused. No complaints this morning from everybody that stayed the night, just so you know. Um, and all of the food is prepared by myself. So. I also have a food handler's card and I am a nutritionist. I just finished my nutrition um, a 
I took another level in my, I dove deeper into nutrition and got a second certification for it. So I, everything is clean eating. So when you are highly medicated and you've got the munchies, I kind of teach you what you should be looking for. So when you get the munchies, your body's craving nutrients and not calories, but we tend to feed it calories and not nutrients. So we tend to overeat. It was funny last night, a lot of people were medicated. <laughs> and I have a big like sweetheart charcuterie board out, and everything is clean eating. And they're like, man, I'm just so full. I can't even like eat anymore. It's because you're eating nutrients. You're not eating empty calories. And uh, it was really neat. I fooled a couple people with some vegan meat that I made with taco bar. And the guy was like, the cream. What was that taco meat you made last night that was pretty good? I said, dude, it was walnuts and mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Um, so it's a lot of fun for me. I, I do, if you're looking at hosting something, you can do an Airbnb. I private events. I do speaking events. If you're looking to educate in your home, come out to your house and I can do a little pop-up shop. I'm really big on education. Because when I was looking for a solution, there wasn't anything. It wasn't until I started experimenting on my own and finding my own regimen that I found success. And then when I found Dr. Regina Nelson, I dove deeper and started geeking out on the science of cannabis and was like, this is why it works and this is why I need it. This is why my brain reacts better with sativa and it, without this terpene. And if I have this specific terpene, I am just, I want to eat. It, it sends off my receptors totally differently. So I know exactly which strains I need to steer clear from <laughs> and which ones I, uh, I use. So if you have any questions, Boho Oils is my business. I have consulting as well, uh, but that's what I've got. <laughs>